about many anime, manga or novels, you will typically see various types of romances throughout the stories, which may show different types of characters experiencing romance in different ways. However, in today's video, I want to talk about how you can write an unforgettable romance, the type of romance that stays in your audience's mind even after they have completed your book. In today's video, let's talk about how you can write an unforgettable romance in your own manga, comic or light novel. My first tip is introduce the characters during a conflict in their lives. One great way to really emphasize the romance in your story is to introduce the characters when they are not doing their best, basically. So when both characters are experiencing maybe difficult moments or a specific type of conflict. So let me give you an example of this. Maybe one of the characters has recently lost their job and they're now trying to find work in different ways. Or maybe the other character who you're going to put in this relationship is that maybe this character is unsure of what studies they should pursue. They're not really sure where they want to go in their life. When you give each of the characters a conflict in their lives, this also makes them more realistic and believable as characters. And it makes it more natural when you bring these characters together, especially if the conflicts you're giving them are something that can really pair well together with these characters. Now, by this, I'm not saying that when you pair the characters together, they should be able to instantly fix each other's problems. In my opinion, it's still important to keep things open for good character development, but you can also allow the characters to work together to be able to work through their respective conflicts. For example, in the case of the character who recently lost their job and they're struggling to find work, maybe the issue is that they don't believe in their own abilities enough, and the other character can come in and make them feel more confident about themselves and really lift them up more so that they feel like they can pursue the true job that they want. Or in another example, maybe the character who isn't sure what they want to pursue in life, maybe the other character can really see what they're talented at and really help to push them in the right direction. So for this tip, think about what problems or conflicts your characters may be going through at the time when they first meet, and maybe how each of these characters can help to balance out those conflicts and maybe push each other in the right direction. My second tip is make these characters unique and well balanced on their own. So both characters that you're going to be putting together in this relationship with this romance, they both need to be very well balanced on their own. So what I mean by this is don't create two characters that need to be together in order to be perfect. I think even in real life examples, it's important for people to be complete on their own before they end up with someone. Otherwise, it may cause difficulties in the relationship when they feel that they may need the other person in order to be perfect. So when you're developing both of these characters, look at each character as a standalone character and give them their own goals and their passions and their hobbies and add details into their personality, their likes and dislikes and their traits in order to make them both really well-rounded characters. I would even recommend giving your characters internal and external conflicts, which I will talk about a bit later in this video. So make these characters really well balanced and unique on their own. And keep in mind too that this doesn't necessarily have to happen before you put these characters together, but by the end of the story, your characters should both be really well developed on their own. And maybe it takes these characters meeting each other in order to begin to fully learn how to fully be themselves, but by the end of the story, they should both be able able to stand well on their own as good characters and that makes it even better when these characters are together because you have these two really well developed and well written characters together and it makes the romance really unforgettable in your manga comic or light novel. My third tip is give your characters a good reason to spend time together. One of the best ways to make a romance feel natural and believable in a story whether it be in a manga or a light novel is that you can give your characters a good reason to spend time together and in most cases it can be kind of forced together in the story so maybe both of these characters need to use their unique abilities in order to be able to work together to solve the main story problem and so when the characters have to work together it makes it more natural for their relationship to progress over the story so really think about in your story sense how you can put two characters together and make it feel natural and believable for your book. My fourth tip is create an internal or external conflict. So we did mention this briefly a little bit earlier, but the internal conflict is your character's conflict inside their minds. So this is the way they judge themselves, the way they perceive themselves or perceive the people around them. 
It's the struggles that they go through in their mind. And then you have the external conflict, which is conflicts happening outside of them. So this might be difficulties with their family or maybe difficulties with the people around them. Maybe they're having some arguments with some people around them. Or maybe it's that they're struggling at their job or they're struggling with different things around them. So ensure that both characters have their own internal and external conflicts that they have to go through over the story. So an example of an internal conflict in this case is that maybe your character has this inner feeling that maybe they're just not good enough. And so no matter what they're doing in the story, they constantly have this internal feeling where they're saying, oh, I'm not good enough for this, or oh, why this person probably wouldn't like me because I'm not good enough. And so because your character is having this constant internal conflict, it creates this kind of internal struggle in your character. And even when this other character comes in, maybe they would still be feeling this internal conflict. Or if your character is maybe in a more action or a shonen manga, maybe they feel like that they're not strong enough to be able to stand beside this character. Maybe they feel like they need to work on their skills or their powers in order to be able to fight, it, fight alongside this character. So those are some examples of an internal conflict, but let's talk about the external conflicts. In my opinion, the external conflicts are a bit easier to write than the internal conflicts because these are taking place outside of your character. So these could even be things such as battles that your character might be facing if this is more of a shonen or an action story. Or it could be something more like maybe they're having struggles within their family. Maybe there's a lot of arguments or difficult situations. Or it could be the fact that maybe your character is struggling at school and maybe they're not getting a good enough grade to maybe satisfy the teachers or their parents. And so these are some examples of some external conflicts that are happening outside of your characters. So when you're creating an unforgettable romance in your story, you have to really balance these aspects. As I was mentioning before in the video, don't put the characters together and immediately have it solve all of the problems because that would be a bit unrealistic. And showing the characters' struggles in your story is one way to make that story really believable. So when your character is going through these internal conflicts, ensure that it also helps them to balance out the connection. Maybe both of these characters help each other through their respective internal conflicts. Maybe they can help each other out with their external conflicts. Maybe they can help them to get to a place that might feel a bit safer for them or to help them with some struggles in their lives. So this should really be a tip all on its own, but I'll talk about it here. When you are creating two characters and you want there to be an unforgettable romance in your story, you really have to make sure that not all the problems are fixed when you put the characters together. It should be more natural that over the course of the story, these struggles get better with the fact that they're together, but there shouldn't be an instant solution when the characters are put together. So let's move on to the next tip. My fifth tip is ensure that they have something in common. One great way to make it more natural for these characters to be together is to ensure that your characters have something in common. And it can just be something small as well. Maybe it's just a hobby that they both share. Maybe they both like to write or paint or maybe they both pursue their goals in very similar ways. They could also have a very similar common goal as well. Maybe they're both fighting the same enemy. Especially if this is a shonen as well, this is very common. You'll, you'll see that both characters have a good reason to both be trying to fight the same enemy. Your characters could also be kind of like competitors in a way. Maybe they're both trying to get the same job or they're both trying to get to the same goal and maybe it's kind of a rivalry or a competition between them as well. So when you're creating these characters, give them something in common and keep in mind too that they don't have to have everything in common. These characters can have differences, but giving them at least one or two things in common will make it more natural for these characters to be together. It could even be in the aspects of their underlying personality as well. Maybe one character seems to be really shy and the other character seems to be way more confident. However, maybe both characters are actually very kind at heart and that is something that they can really relate to. My sixth tip is put their romance at stake over the course of the story. This is when you really get to the point where you make this romance become something unforgettable. Through the previous tips, you can develop a more natural and believable romance, but when you start putting their romance at stake, it's when that romance becomes a lot more powerful in your story, when you're really emphasizing it. 
So using the example from before where maybe both characters are trying to fight against the same villain, maybe this villain somehow separates these characters or makes them think that they have both betrayed each other in some way. So they trick these characters and then this really puts their romance at stake. They wonder if the other character can maybe be trusted or they wonder if the other character is still safe or if something bad has happened to them. For a more natural example, if you're having something more like a slice of life or a shoujo or just a simple romance drama story. Putting their romance at stake may mean putting certain dramas or difficult situations into the story. So using the situation where there might be an external conflict with their family. Maybe their family disagrees with the person that they have fallen in love with and maybe the family are the ones that are trying to keep them separated. And so this kind of puts their romance at stake. So maybe this character's family or the people around them say if you don't do this particular thing we're not going to let you be with this person. So really think about how you can balance that external conflict with other situations in the story too and maybe that's what really puts your character's romance at stake. So really think about what challenges your characters may have to face by being together. This kind of drama and conflict keeps it really interesting in your story and it's what makes the romance more powerful when these characters manage to overcome these obstacles and still be together regardless of what other people say or what the situation may be surrounding it. And finally, my seventh tip is force your characters to make difficult decisions. One great way to make a romance really unforgettable in your manga, comic or light novel is to force your characters to make difficult decisions about it. Put your characters in situations where they need to make the difficult choices in order to progress in your story. For example, in a really dramatic shonen or a seinen story, for example, where the villain might be this really bad character, maybe they have to make a difficult decision between saving the world and saving this character that they care about. You can put your character into these really difficult decisions where they need to make a difficult choice and this really amps up the drama in your story and makes all of the scenes that you've had before it even more important. Another less dramatic example, maybe you could force your character to make a really difficult decision when it's between your character being able to pursue their goals or dreams or to be able to have this romance and this relationship with this other character and so they need to make a decision between these two things what are these things they really want but maybe they can't have both of these things so think about how you can force your characters into difficult situations where they need to make choices between difficult things and this will make your story way more memorable and it will make your characters romance a lot more important as well.